The Bank of Canada just increased its interest rate a full percentage point to 2.5%, which is a lot more than what we were all expecting. I woke up this morning to a ton of messages from curious home buyers to sellers to investors. A lot of people messaged me today and I wanted to jump on here to quickly talk about this. This is the third interest rate hike already this year. Today is going to be known as a historic day in Canada. This is the biggest interest rate hike since 1988, 24 years ago. Now, why are they doing this? What's going to happen? Who is it going to affect? Unfortunately, a lot of people, this channel is predominantly about real estate investing, so I'm gonna talk about what you guys need to do as well at the end of this video. Inflation is at an all-time high right now, 8%. And the Bank of Canada believes that by doing this, they are going to be able to slow down inflation and bring it back down to 2% by 2024. Now, I know what you guys are thinking, 2024, Again, this is what they are projecting. This is what they are saying. People have been questioning how long is this going to last? 2024 seems like a long time. That's what they're saying. Don't shoot the messenger. Comment below what you guys actually think. The Bank of Canada is also saying that because of these changes, they don't expect to see a recession. Personally, I'm gonna be honest guys, I think we already are in a recession. It just hasn't been announced officially. The real estate market has been crashing. We are seeing really low prices right now. It's been taking a dive and it's been affecting a lot of people. People that are on variable rates are now going to be paying a lot more. People that are about to renew their mortgage are going to be paying a lot more. Sadly, it's really unfortunate, but as a real estate agent, I'm also seeing a lot of people losing their houses people calling saying they have to sell, they're panic selling, and it's very unfortunate times. Four or five months ago, the interest rates were at 1.7, 1.8, 1.6 some people were getting. And now, to see it triple, quadruple, when you just bought a house about a year ago, is crazy. And it should have, in my opinion, been a slower, gradual increase if it had to happen to slow down inflation, but now, this has become a big mess. There's a lot of opinions out there. I'd love to hear your guys' opinions. Some people are also saying there's some good and there's some bad involved in this. The good is the prices are at an all-time low. They are dropping. And if you have been saving some money, you are a first-time home buyer or an investor that's sitting on a lot of cash, you really, really could score a good deal. Now on this channel, we predominantly talk about real estate investing, but I do give a lot of market updates and keep you guys informed on the market. So if this video did help, give it a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.